Hello, guys. I'm Alexander Borden. Close enough. Okay. Welcome back to Theorize It. That's right. We're back to Theorize It and we're going to be showing off so many things. But basically, we're talking about one of my favorite horror stories of all time. This is one of my, this is probably my favorite Stephen King movie. Well, actually, it ain't really his because it's Stanley Kubrick. You know where I'm going. The Shining and the sequel, Dr. Sleep, have every release, not every single release. I'm probably going to get the VHS, though, sometime. I'm going to try to look for the VHS tape. But so far, I have this Best of the 80s set, in which I've showed this off in an unboxing video not too long ago. And I have my original Shining DVD, which is just the Stanley Kubrick Collection DVD, which I originally had this same exact disc in that set. So, you know what I did? I went to my local library. I found the same exact DVD. I went into the case. I pulled out a DVD with artwork. And this, this disc looks sick. Look at that. I swapped it out. Plus, my other DVD was in better condition. But, I had the DVD in this set, and I also have another release for The Shining. And then we're going to go on to Doctor Sleep, which, here's my other release. The 4K Ultra HD. I've shown this off in, in a, another video, which, that's when somebody asked me for a digital code, but I this is one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm not going to give away the code for this one. I'd, I said that I would give away codes for movies by like Lionsgate, MGM, Paramount. I'd give away codes for like movies like Sonic the Hedgehog, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, movies like that. I mean, maybe some, um, maybe James Bond for all you know. I might give away some stuff like that, okay? So yeah, then the other movie I have is Doctor Sleep, which funny thing, the the 4K says see Doctor Sleep in theaters 11:8. I actually saw this in theaters and I loved it in the theaters. This movie was freaky. It was a very freaky movie. I'm so glad I have this on Blu-ray. I loved it. It really it deserved a lot more in the box office. It really did. It deserved so much more because if there's so many people in the world that's never seen The Shining, and I think that people should start watching it because this movie is mad, mad scary. And the thing is about The Shining is that the movie plays tricks on you. So if you're like watching the movie, you might think that it's something, but it's actually the other thing. Pepsi Cola, get in the stores now. But yes, The Shining, it's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. It's, I mean, it's just got a bundle of scary, and it has, like, so much things. And it, it, he actually throws jokes about his wife being ugly and all. Shelley Duvall was not the greatest back in, the, in 1980. It was just like, whenever you look at the screen, you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck am I looking at? And then you realize... Wait a minute, that's Shelly Duvall? No way. She is burning my face off. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. And you're like, but otherwise, they actually, Stanley Kubrick got the worst director thing, and Shelly Duvall got the worst actress. In my opinion, I don't really know for a fact, but I think that Jack Nicholson got the best actor thing because Jack Nicholson nailed it. He nailed The Shining. I can't think of anyone who would not do as good as Jack Nicholson. I mean, Steven Weber, he sucked. Plus, the Stephen King miniseries was not as good as the 1980 film. It was just, this movie, is a classic and will always remain a classic there's no denying it this movie will remain a classic 
and the sequel, I think that the sequel is like an instant classic. Because when I watched it, it seemed like an old movie, but it actually ain't. Because when I watched it, I watched this multiple times, and I agree that this movie's awesome. Especially on how this Blu-ray comes with a director's cut. Are you kidding me? Well, okay, enough with me talking. I've done like five minutes of, uh, of commentary. But, yeah. One more sip. Good shit. Okay. So, yeah. Let's get to the theories. Okay. So, there's one thing about The Shining that I always thought. That The Shining connected to other Stephen King movies. I always had that theory that the Stephen King movies just, like, rub together kind of thing. Because... There was one, there was like three movies in the Stephen King franchise that did connect. And those were The Dark Tower, The Tommyknockers, and The It series. And the reason why I'm saying that is because every, all three of those movies had something to do with Pennywise the Clown. So yeah, <laughs> this ain't an It thing, but we're going to talk a little bit about It while we're talking about The Shining. Okay, so The Dark Tower had a thing in the series called the macros the macroverse and in the macroverse it was like an alternate dimension no not an alternate dimension it was like this it was like this whole universe of dimensions all combining in one it's basically it put the gunslinger and everything else together and there was this uh, spe there was like this appearance of Pennywise the Clown in the Dark Tower. It wasn't like, it was like a, a sign that was sticking out of the ground with a hand with a balloon. Balloons. I saw that in the do in the Dark Tower and I was just weirded out. I, was, I didn't I, know. But, here's something I've heard, which I've never seen the Tom Knockers. Don't, don't get mad at me. I've never seen the Tom Knockers. But I heard from a lot of people that at the end of the Tommy Knockers, you'd hear an evil laugh. And I've heard that like Pennywise lives or something. And the thing is that everybody knew after the first It in 2017, everybody knew that there was going to be a sequel because at the end of the movie it would say It and then it would, and then a chapter one text comes out of nowhere. So we know that there's going to be a chapter 2 coming out soon. But it already came out and I have both of those movies on Blu-ray because I love that series. Awesome series. I have all the It movies. But yeah, let's get back to The Shining. I love that stuff. But yeah. Another theory that I was talking about. Well, actually, I didn't even get to finish the first theory, okay? Since those movies connected... I always thought that Jack Torrance was possessed by an evil spirit that was living in the macroverse and it traveled through one dimension to get to the other and I've always had this like mind plot twist I, there was another theory that I had that who was Lloyd the bartender let's talk about that I've always thought that Lloyd the bartender was like the devil or something because he said that he'd give his soul for one drink in the movie. That's what he said. He said that line. I'm not going to swear that well because I don't like saying stuff that curses God. I'm not Christian or anything, but I do believe in God and I do not want to swear in front of him. So, yes, I do follow God. So, yes, he says that he'd give his soul for one drink. Just for a drink. And what he does, well, the bartender comes out of nowhere. And then he offers him a drink. Here's whiskey on the rocks. Here you go, fella. That's basically how it goes. That's like my fourth sip. 
actually fifth. I just remembered that. Okay. So yes. So another thing. I have this thing that maybe Tim Burton and Stephen King movies combine. Well, one thing. I've done my very first theorize it was based on what movie we call Coraline. Which there was an actor who played the young naked lady in the bathroom. In the bathtub. On The Shining. And you know who it was? A lady named Leah Beldum. Beldum. Okay. The creature from from Coraline, the other mother's real identity was the Beldum. Anybody know what the fuck's going on right now? Seriously, I have a connection with those two movies, Coraline and The Shining. Why? Just why? There's like this tiny little piece of evidence that that happens. But, like I said, one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay. I actually have this on digital, and I'm so glad I do. No bragging. You can actually find this at the store. I found it at Target on sale. It was originally like, it was originally like, okay, it was 20, $25. But it was originally like 30 something dollars. But I found it on sale for like 25 So yeah. You can find that at the store. Plus the regular Blu-ray for The Shining is going for $13 at Target. Go get it. Doctor Sleep. I don't know the price for that one. But I got it when it was like 20 bucks. So yeah. Okay. I'm addicted to Pepsi. You know that now. Okay. Another theory that I have for The Shining before I end the video, which this is going to be a quick little theory. Okay. Who's Jack Torrance? That's my theory. Okay, who is Jack Torrance? We don't know because we did not see a lot of him. Well, we actually did see a lot of him, but we didn't see that much of him. Because even Wendy herself said some things about him, but the thing is, who is he? Who is he in the series? Because I heard that the story started out, the book started out with a swear word at the beginning. Like some cunt? I don't really know. But yes. The Theorize It series will continue. But you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep talking about the who is, who is, uh, Jack Torrance. Okay, who's Jack Torrance? He's a man. <laughs> of course we know he's a man. I mean, okay. What I don't know is that maybe he's not a man. Maybe he's actually a spirit. No, he's just a possessed man. A, a man that's possessed by the Overlook. And maybe he got reincarnated one time. Maybe he was originally an Indian that lived in the mountains and then re reincarnated as Jack Torrance. Who knows? But yes, I'm going to end the video here. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified for the latest videos. Thank you for watching.